All right, here we are at our 2018 Bennington 22 SL pontoon boat sitting on an almost new trailer. This is powered by 115 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke outboard. We've got just under 140 engine hours on this one. This is a one-owner boat. It's been used here in freshwater here in the East Tennessee area. The engine is under warranty through about May 11th of 2021. This was purchased new in May of 2018. The trailer is a 2020 model trailer. And that's a tandem axle. We've got the step up, step up boarding ladder. There's that 115 four-stroke Yamaha ski tow bar on it. Bimini top overhead. There is a cover for the boat. This one's rated for 10 persons. This is a 24 foot long boat. About 2,200 pounds dry. Eight and a half foot beam. It's rated for 10. I do want to point out before I climb on board. Uh, this, this would be a fold down swim boarding ladder. And it has gotten detached. This is an easy replacement. They've just got uh, bolts through this little pick out they make. This is a fairly standard swim platform. You will need to replace both pieces though, not just the fold down part because this um, this corner right here is was broke off. That's just a, somebody left it down. And um, so that does need to be done. We've got about ready to see that nice luxury woven vinyl floor in here whenever I step on. Got docking lights up here on the bow of it. We have function tested the uh, navigation lights. Your red and your green nav lights do operate. The anchor light needs a new light bulb. And this is what they call, I believe this is called a sea grass. That's a luxury woven vinyl flooring. Got a homemade rod holder up here on the bow of it. You don't have to have one of those big fancy ones. That right there gets the job done just fine. There's one of those on the back as well. Removable cup holder. There's actually two removable cup holders. One back there on that L-shaped seat. One up here on this large sun lounge seat. Now you won't hear me reference the asking price in the video tour, and that is because they will often change until a listing is sold. This one will be hitting the market in the upper 20s. And I'll invite you to our website. Let me close this little, little storage door under the helm here. That's actually lockable. I'll invite you to our website to see the current asking price and even to check the availability of it. We do not monitor the YouTube comment page. So if you do have questions about this, if you're seriously interested in it, open up a new tab or a window, type in yournewboat.com, hit enter. Wait for that to load. That orange lettering lets you know you're in the right place. Look for the Find Your New Boat button in the top left-hand corner of the page. When you click that, it's going to show you all of our inventory and order price. Just scroll down. When you get down under $30,000, you'll see, you'll see one of the exterior shots of this with um, where I just kind of did the walk around without the cover on it. You'll see the asking price right there. You'll see kind of some of the basic specs on it. You'll be able to click anywhere onto there, and it'll take you to a photo slideshow page. Photos will go through, kind of do a full walk around of the video tour. There'll be more specs to the left-hand side of that, along with the asking price, along with our phone number. You can call or text us. There'll be a link to email us. And then there'll be a, a printable PDF. If you click that, that's going to probably be a more detailed list of all the options this one has. Anything that would not fit in that space just to the left of the uh, photo slideshow that's going on. So again, you can reach us by phone, by text, by email, any and all of those methods through our site. I do, I do ask if you call us on the phone, get our voicemail. We're often in areas without cell phone receptions. So this is kind of our public service announcement. If you do want to return phone call, make sure you leave us a, a voice message. Let me know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. That way, um, if we start playing phone tag, I can at least leave all the answers for you on your voicemail. And, um, and yeah, so 
resuming our video tour I, I do want to point out we do have a little bit of a uh, little bit of staining on on this seat now this has not been professionally detailed okay so uh, a, a good detailer will have the product that'll take that off especially on this new of, of vinyl and these cup holders are nice because you can just put you put them wherever you're sitting and move them around they kind of tuck in not familiar with this they kind of tuck in behind that seat and they're just heavy enough where they're not going to get tipped over or blown out easily you've got storage under all these seats um, this is kind of those plastic uh, roto molded seat bases basically there's there's no wood in the bases here uh, those are your uh, bimini storage uh, support poles are not for the bimini i'm sorry for the mooring cover you got some throw cushions in here you got a couple anchors in there need need to add some uh, some rope or some chain with it and um looks like a little paddle laying down there in there also um these orange uh, basically everything on here is going to be staying with it we've got some orange vest looks like a little tube rope there and we do have the three entry gates got uh, your largest ones up here at the bow and then you've got another one here on the port side and off the stern of it removal lounge table that's that's what this piece is right here that means that whole thing can get get pulled out of there and stored away if you're not using it there's that other removable cup holder there so here at your helm station we do have a tilt steering wheel we've got a kicker am fm bluetooth usb auxiliary input stereo we've got four speakers i function tested all four of those speakers those all work well uh 12 volt power outlet right here conveniently located near your cup holder and your stereo if you're running a device or charging your phone you've got a nice deep cup holder to put that in functional horn it, like i said it did verify that the docking lights and the nav lights work properly live well pump is working i'll show you that here in a moment um, and then we've got uh, well that's your switch for your navigation lights this would be your anchor light but again that anchor that anchor light is missing a bolt and another cup holder here at your steering wheel this is, this is a garmin striker 4 um, fish finder with gps now this does not have a, a lake card but you will be able to kind of track your routes and set waypoints with it um, I've got the split screen going so you can kind of see the dual interface of your fish finder slash sonar on one side and your chalk plot or GPS on the other side. So this is telling you air temperature, battery volts, uh, the time of day, as well as the depth. Now we're not getting a depth reading because they're both sitting on the trailer right now, but it's going to do the depth finder, fish finder, and uh, water temperature and all that stuff in one interface. Uh, your gauge is here. You got a trim gauge uh, for your drive trim, fuel gauge, tachometer with the integrated uh, digital hour meter. This one is showing 138.9 hours. We'll probably just call that 140 engine hours on the website. And I'll hit this switch here. Got to shut off the Garmin and the stereo. Nice driver's seat. This is going to recline, swivel. You've got the two uh, armrests that will go up and down few little marks in the uh, the vinyl here um two of them there two of them here none of these are severe actually they're not even all the way through just like a little surface scratch on there these seat backs right here will kind of pop open for easy access um a few little marks right in here also I have to point that out and again this uh, this has not been detailed um, I have no reason to believe that um, this what little bit of discoloration you have up here will come off. Seems are getting a little stretched uh, just up here on these sun loungers, but did not see any other rips or tears or anything like that. Just a little bit of staining is all. Uh, this looks like it could be something, but yeah, I believe that's just a piece of dirt there. Wipe that off. Do this cup holder. I want to show you under this seat. Basically got a little integrated uh, waist bin. See that cut out? A uh, small little waist bin will fit there. And uh, just more storage underneath here. Those pumpers are included with it. This is just a leaf that's on there. That's not a, a mark. And then your live well is under here. And 
is to basically just screw in right here that lav well pump that's working that turns your water flow on and then when you're done you turn that pump off unscrew this and you can see you got gravel underneath there that water just drains right out into the lake or onto the ground bimini top overhead then here you've got a little sun lounge um a little scuff there it's not a rip a little scuff there yeah i think i saw a few other, oh, okay here's this would be the one exception that one's got a little bit of a of a tear right there you see it's about the size of my fingernail um and a small little scratch here that one's not all the way through so if you get uh if you get a little patch kit on there that'll keep that from getting worse or you can get it repaired now you've got the start of a pop-up changing room in here this is going to come out of course i've got the mooring cover laying in there there's two more throw cushions you've got fuel water separator in there i've got the jump box on here just so we can have power to helm from where it's been sitting for winter storage so they do make a canvas that goes with that that would be your pop-up changing room this one has the frame installed but no canvas and click that back into position and this will also close with the turn of a latch so um there's your anchor light uh, like i said I, I mentioned earlier that does need a new bulb your rear access gate right here that takes you over to that swim boarding ladder there's that yamaha 115 horsepower four stroke we got about a 24 gallon fuel tank on board ski tow bar and again that that engine is under warranty um, until may 11th here of 2021 it can be transferred uh, there is a transfer fee on that so depending on when uh, when the buyer takes delivery of this one that may or may not be something they want to take advantage of fire extinguisher right there is your capacity plate this one is rated for 10. we do have 25 inch diameter pontoons on this one and believe this will start to wrap things up here i'll do another uh, walk around in the exterior this is a two inch two inch ball on that trailer and that step up boiling ladder. that's a tennessee trailer you've got this uh this nice uh, um newer trailers have kind of switched this um getting away from carpet it seems to not quite wear as uh frequently as that carpet does especially on those bunks everything looks good here rob as far as the pontoons and all go, there's your aluminum uh, support pieces. Got that marine uh, grade plywood flooring. It's pretty much the standard in uh, today's pontoon boats. A little bit of a, uh, they'll call these splash guards right in here. Those little wave deflectors. So again, this is the 2018 Bennington S. 22 series it's a 22 sl 25 inch diameter pontoons you've got the live well fish finder 115 horsepower four stroke yamaha outboard ski tow bar bimini top a little bit of staining here on this aluminum fencing um this this is common this is from that uh fuel whenever you uh fill up you'll get a little spillage sometimes of stain this um that's one area on these uh aluminum Aluminum sidings, these are great because they're not real um, high maintenance. Um, you know, it's really hard to uh, actually harm these, uh, but you can wax this area and it'll, it'll kind of protect it a little bit from uh, fuel spills. Uh, mooring cover on this one, there's no snaps. You've got the little clips that they've switched to with some of these newer models and they kind of clip in that little channel right there. Um, that makes for almost a uh, more secure cover. You're not fighting those snaps. Those snaps don't uh, break. A few little marks in the aluminum fencing on this one. Um, really, don't think I noticed anything major. Let me get a little bit more closer with our walk around the exterior. You can see a little ding there just in the uh, light, depending on the angle of that video. I'll kind of do that slowly. Walk around the exterior. A little surface scratch here. So we are in the East Tennessee area. We are, um, we're actually very close to Oak Ridge, Tennessee. It's just north of Knoxville, Tennessee. 
just west of Norris Lake, Tennessee. This one is sitting on a trailer. Uh, again, it's a newer trailer, so you got fresh rubber on this. It would be ready to, to hit the road. You relocate it anywhere. I know inventory is low right now. Might contact us if you're interested. Again, through the website um, this time of year. These pontoon boats generally do not last long, especially when they're um, in almost new condition like this is. Sitting on a trailer package ready to go. If you're out of state buyer, this is a consignment listing. We do not collect Tennessee sales tax. You will pay that in the state in which you register it to. And if you're in Tennessee, you'll pay, pay sales tax when you transfer ownership of it. Uh, really any state, you're gonna pay whatever you pay with boats there. So again, any questions, reach out to us through the website. That's yournewboat.com. The idea of the uh, tires on here. Again, these are like new tires, really good thread. Did not notice any dry rot at all. Oh, here's the date code. These are uh, 2020 tires, five lugs. Got the, um, I don't think that's a bearing buddy, but it's a comparable system. Uh, no trailer brakes on this, but again, the boat dry is uh, just barely 2,200 pounds. This may have your bearings listed. A lot of times I'll put a little decal here. Yeah, I don't see anything. All right, that'll wrap things up for us here. Again, this is the 2018 Bennington. That you'll see that yournewboat.com logo pop up in the top right-hand corner of the screen. That is to be subscribed to our YouTube channel where you can be notified by Google anytime a new listing hits the market in our area, they'll notify you. You can be one of the first ones to catch something heading onto the market. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, let us know if you've got any questions. Appreciate it.